Hello everyone, Prince here. Have you solved any engineering challenges recently? Today, we are going to unbox my new camera. First of all, it takes over a week for it to arrive. I think it makes sense if FedEx is even going to miss a delivery from FedEx, right? This thing was wrapped like a tank. Lily said, I am battery inside. I think I will use this one to open it. Instruction manual. Oh, this manual is sick. Uh, it's actually just getting started. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, yeah, it's a it's a manual. Many people want to read this, but as an engineer, I strongly suggest you to read the manual. But probably not with this one. Go online and retrieve the PDF version. You are just becoming an expert after you simply read the manual. Let's continue with the box. Open this. We get the strap. I will have some special use for this one. The battery. Yeah, LPE 12. It's a very small battery. I bought another two. It's still on its way. Let's get the power cable out first. Oh, yeah. Because it's from... Hong Kong, so the power cable is the cable with a charger. Yep, this is charger. Plastic all around. Well, 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 for. For more than 8 years, the charger style hasn't been changed at all. Let's grab the lens. It's, this is my first interchangeable lens camera. Amazingly small. Finally, the body. This is damn tiny. Yeah, this is really, really tiny. It feels really good in my hand. It does not feel cheap at all. Okay, let me clear the table. And... Uh, Prepare the camera ready. on the table and uh, let's focus on the camera first impression it is made of plastic yes as many people said however the body really does not feel cheap it's solid it's rugged the grip is fitting my hand well but I wish it's a little bit deeper the rubber the rubberized materials on the top of it and also at the back really makes the comfort to the next level. Yeah, the buttons, hmm, the buttons is not very steady. So I always feel, sometimes when I press it, I feel, will it fall off? The power switch is a rocker, it's not a button, like my RX100 Mark IV. So it's more comfortable to use, as I feel. The most favorite part for me is the record button. The record button is right on the top. So if I want to record in front of the screen, it's easier to reach this button rather than come to the back. One of 
my least favorite part is about uh, well, you know, it's a five hundred dollar camera. What I'm expecting, but I still don't like these screws. If you look into the detail, these screw s screws they they just expose on the outside. I wish it's like the. 1DX Mark II, which they can cover it for somehow. <laughs> but as I said, $500 camera, what uh, I expect. Different from the body, which is actually made in Japan. The lens is actually made in Taiwan, and that's where the build quality nightmare comes. First, it's totally made of plastic, and then, I don't know whether you can see on the camera or not, you can see the line. Well, they didn't even hide the line on the plastic ring. It's literally two pieces of semicircle bonded together. The focus ring is still fine on turning. It's smooth on turning, but the, the zoom ring is not. And as you can see, when you zoom in and zoom out, your lens will retract, then extend. That's where the problem comes. Once it retracts to the minimum, which is around 28, it will have a very light friction there. So sometime, if I want to zoom from the shortest to the longest, either you need to use two fingers, or it will stuck at around 28 and stop me from moving. I know many people will say this camera is small. Yes, it is. Well, compared with uh, those DSLRs, for sure. But compared with a point and shoot like the RX100 Mark IV there, mm, I would say it's slightly larger, but still easy to hold. It's not as light as I thought. Many people say it's just 386 grams for the body, but plus a lens, you're shooting at around 600 grams, if not more. And uh, yeah, if you put on an adapter and put an EFS lens or even EF lens on it, it might be even heavier. Yeah, this, <laughs> to be honest, it will make me feel a little bit more tired if I want to hold it outside and uh, performing vlog. Okay, let's turn on the camera to see whether the battery has any juice in it or not. Okay, it asked me to unlock the lens. Yeah, you see, that's another thing I do not like about this lens. It has the rocker arm here. So, every time I need to shoot, I need to press it, unlock it. However, in the bureau, you can see, if you just switching lens, switches on is very easy, you just put your finger here. It's just two stage, and uh, that makes the work a little bit easier. Although they need to have this lock, what I wish is when I want to unlock it, I can straightforward unlock it without press the switch forward and it will unlock. But when I go back, I can no longer go back. I need to press this button and then retract it. I think that makes more sense. And uh, if you are in, if you put this lens in your backpack and uh, the, the cap is on, a small form factor, it will not extend on its own. I need to charge up the battery and uh, learn more through it before I make a comprehensive review on it. Now, I have a big announcement. Since I have a new camera, I want to make more videos. But if I only focus on field trips, it's too little for me to upload. So, I will talk more about some engineering thinking, engineering ideas. I will also post some tutorials about especially recently it will be focused on this camera thank you very much for tuning in if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and as always may the engineering mind be with you Sending photos to Google Drive directly from camera.